Hey guys, what's up? There we go. Me, he bought, and I'm trying to do a special Sonic stream playing the sequel Sonic and Hedgehog 4 that was created for uh, the 360 and I believe the PS3 last generation, which is a pretty awesome game in my opinion uh, and a very underrated one um, because of uh, I think it's got unwarranted hate just because people didn't like the 3D uh, approach to the 2D side scrolling uh, art style, which I thought was nice because it kind of made the game feel like it evolved and it was a newer iteration of it. You know, it wasn't trying to do a remaster of the original, but you know, making it feel more up to date. And um, I felt like it would be a nice thing to do right now. Kind of go back and do a stream in celebration of the you know, uh, movie having success right now, which is really nice for the Sonic brand and for the fans, obviously. And I was never really a good Sonic fan. I always told you guys that before, even in the Sega Genesis era. To be honest, um, I knew it was a good game. I just wasn't a big fan of it. I played it. I was like, oh, okay, you know. But I really didn't really embrace it like a lot of people did. So maybe some people are going to think of me and look at me, oh, you're a fake fan, you blasphemous, you know. And I get it. I understand that. I, I, I completely understand that. But that is really not my intent, obviously. My intent is to show you guys through my stream with what I'm saying, how I'm talking, what I try to present to you in the conversation, um, what I feel about the game and why I think I, it's better than um, people or most people said it was because... Again, no, there's no way better to prove and show this than to show physically why you feel the way you feel, right? And in my case, you feel... Oh. But this game has a lot of cool elements that um, people probably didn't even give it a chance. Because a lot of times when, when people um, say they hate something, in a lot of cases, and I'm not saying all, but in a lot of cases, oh, I'm to the other side. in a lot of cases, they just say, oh, I hate it, and really don't, they didn't really even touch it, play the game, or give it a fair shot, you know, I'm not saying it all, but in a lot of cases, yes, this is what they do. Okay. Wait, stop doing that. As you can see, graphically, the game looks gorgeous. Very beautiful. Oh my lord, I'm not going to be very unforgiving. Um, graphically, looks gorgeous. Uh, it has a very Sega uh, feel to the old school style with beautiful bright colors and, you know, and uh, his art style. It just feels very Sega. And I hope you guys, uh, for your old school Sega fans, can see what I'm talking about. Because obviously the younger Sega fans, oh my god, have really no idea what I'm talking about. Or they, you know, their vision of Sega is, you know, Yakuza, Persona 5, things that are nowhere near the level that Sega was at their prime. Um, so, very, very different than set up in the type of fans, obviously. Kind of like when, you know, uh, Toomba the Badass Elephant came out, I thought it was very Sega, even though it was uh, just another 2D side scroller, but it was unique, you know, with, with Elephant character as the main character, and then obviously, uh, but obviously at the same time, even though it felt, you know, uh, like the old school side score that we know and love and familiar, are familiar with. It also felt, you know, fresh and new um, in a lot of ways. Because he was, it was almost like he was trying to, he was like, he was trying to be a, 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 an animal, an animal style or an animal Rambo. 
of the, you know, the way he looked. And I think hence why they named it, the title was, you know, Tomb of the Bat as. Oh, that's almost hysterical. Oh my Jesus. Did it again. I did it again. I did. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, as you can see, whoever said the game wasn't tough, you know, wasn't challenging, uh, that really isn't true because you can clearly see right here I'm having a challenge. And then again, I'm not the greatest Sonic player in the world either. Um, so, if people can use that and be completely and totally. Right, you know, I have a good point, in other words. But I am not a veteran Sonic player, but I do the best I can. I'm not too shabby. So these damn rings. I lost so many times. There we go. And I think this is the end here. And it sucks because I have... Hardly no way. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's the first stage. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to play the first four levels until I get to the boss. And then, you know, we'll, we'll end the stream from there. But I do want to remind you guys that I probably didn't mention it earlier, but this game, the way they designed it, kind of to be uh, an, episodic, an episodic style. Meaning it was going to be released as four episodes. Each episode had five worlds or four worlds, in some cases, and um, some hidden worlds as well. <laughs> and then each world has like four stages with a boss battle, um, which is pretty good because it felt like you got a good thing for your buck. Not to mention that the game itself, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, the game itself, I believe, <coughs> I believe the game itself was um was uh I believe the game was fifteen dollars when it first came out. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure my son can correct me if I am, but I believe that was the price. So please don't kill me if I'm wrong. It's been a while. I am older. My mind does not work or function for that matter the same way anymore. <laughs> so my intention is not to misinform or either to disrespect anybody's sonic intelligence or the franchise as a whole. It's just, I don't remember. I'll be honest with you, I just don't remember. Oh. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, and another thing was, that I know remember people saying too was that it felt slow when I failed, I failed to, to differ. I don't really think it's slow. I think it's slower, but I don't think it's slow to the point where it doesn't have a sense of speed, which a lot of people were trying to push that narrative. Well, it doesn't have a sense of speed. I think it's just because the graphics were in 3D and not in sprites. It's a lot harder to interpret that because you have to now sell the backdrops as well uh, along with the foreground and the new style of the graphics. So it's going to look a lot slower, especially if the images in the back move slower than the images in the front. And I think that's part of the reason. So in a sense, the people that say it was slow, they're not necessarily wrong, but they're not necessarily thinking logically either. Because you have to remember, 3D and 2D sprites are big, big different animals. Not the same thing, you know. And of course, you know, I'll uh, have people who say, Bebot, you're damage controlling like always. Well, let me damage control them. I'm just trying to be logical in my thinking. Along with I'm trying to be sensible as, oh my Jesus, little Christ, oh my, pretty merciful of all lords. You see how unforgiving this game is? I just, oh my god, I just destroyed a bunch of things. So, you know. Oh, it's again, again. Look at that. Jesus, Dame la Forge, that for four. 
Yeah, yeah, there it is. It's Sonic the Tarzan mode. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> it's over for me. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I told you guys I'm not the greatest Sonic player, but I definitely appreciate a good platform. And everybody knows that Sonic really reinvented the platformer genre in his own right with the approach of the sense of so much speed and you know and giving us more acrobat acrobatic abilities um, in a platform while going at fast high speed so you know it definitely deserves its respect I think they've earned it I think that's why, plus the character being so unique and cool looking, uh, that's why it's garnered love through the years with a lot of fans. And again, I'm, I've never been uh, a hypocrite. I've always said I like the character design, I like the world, but I don't like really the game uh, itself. You know, the actual uh, game of Sonic, what they did. Now, I did enjoy the 3D renditions like Sonic Generations uh, and Sonic Colors, Sonic Adventures. I thought they were really cool game, but I guess because they were more in the 3D realm, that's why they catered more to me. That I, I never really liked Mario, too. I always thought Mario was the most overrated platformer in history. Um, you know, and some people may agree, some people may not. But I always tell people, remember, Sonic, you know, had to earn, this, earn its strike because Sonic was sold separately. You had to go out and buy it, as opposed to Mario. It was given out for free, which with each Nintendo Entertainment console. And I know people don't want to hear that, and I don't know if people don't like that when you point that out. Those are just the truth of the of the situation and of the times. That's just how it was. You know? So only a true fan would be um, you know logical enough and honest enough to admit that. Not hating on the franchise, obviously. You know, Sonic, you have to go out and buy it. And once, you know, Sega realized it was doing bun you know, bundle sales, especially during solar that was in charge at the time, that's when they decided to pack it in and give it out as the free game. And then it started selling uh, even more. They could definitely create better sales for Sega in that era, especially with the uh, oh oh oh, especially with oh free hey, especially in the era of Genesis, which is Sega's best known uh, generation or console. Aside from the Dreamcast, even though, you know, it was short-lived. So yeah, I think the Sonic was really, really good, a lot better than people gave me credit. And that's, you know, my point that I'm trying to convey and hopefully will convey with the full stream and you guys see me play. Being, you know, in case you want to play these for. Why did I do that? If I knew. It's absolutely PC when you're trying to find a Okay, so I'll do that. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I mean, they had no floor. See that, ladies and gentlemen? What a secret sign. I told you guys it wasn't the best. See, why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? do that. That's why I always prefer wired controllers when it comes to games like this.
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it is a video game. I've never seen a man from a jump on top of Animal Head either with Nintendo. So I guess it works both ways, right? <laughs> I love that it's, it's got a video game element to it. I think that's the whole appeal. The fact that it's unrealistic. <laughs> hmm? It's, there, it's very fun though. You know, especially when you play it, the more you play it, you learn the newer skill sets because it gives you more skill sets as you learn them. And by all means, I don't know them. Nowhere near. But um, I didn't, I haven't enjoyed it. I beat this first episode. I'm currently working on the second episode. Look at the shift in the background. The parallax scroll is amazing. <coughs> Old technique, but it looks gorgeous in this game. Um, But, uh... Ooh. I think it gets crazy in this one, crazy stuff. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Nice. They will get him. Oh, <laughs> really getting high up on Oh, my God. Oh my god. I don't know how getting high on mushrooms hasn't allowed him to already get down and busy with Princess Peach. These are, you know, obviously were created with the idea of, you know, <clears throat> of catering to like your audiences, kids, and adults. Kind of like the Disney style with the Pixar movies. You know, but it worked, it was effective, it worked. Uh, because, you know, they have a certain appeal and charm to them. Uh, you know, plus that's what video games are all about. Escaping an unrealistic world that, you know, un that we otherwise would not able to or experience another formats that you, you know that we can interact with, interact with, interact with, interact with. Interact with. Yeah, that's what I think. Sorry about that. Santo de Dios. Yeah, this Sonic has to be taken serious. He's been already had a concussion. With all the crazy stuff that he does. Uh oh, he's all pinball style. Uh oh, here we go. Secret area right there. Uh oh, little bat. Uh oh. Bing! Uh oh. Here we are. Gonna go inside there. Uh oh. Yes! Nice. Oh 
Oh, go again, see if we can make some jackpot! No. Oh, it's jackpot. I did it. Look at all those coins you get. Whoa. See that? Awesome. Oh my god, I'm trying to actually go on top. So, you know, I think I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer in this stage so you can get an idea of what the stage looks like in the second world. Not in this one there because. You know, I don't want to make the stream too long. I really don't like the music from this world. But the level design is incredible with the casino theme. That's freaking fantastic. how colorful and bright it has that really like I said really Sega essence and style to it that's what I really loved about it so, like a proper evo evolution of the Sonic game uh oh uh oh uh oh psychedelic time Street Zone Act Numero Dos. So, like I told you guys before, this work game has, or this first episode has, four worlds and two super worlds. You unlock one of these paths. I don't know if it's like that with all the other worlds, I do know it is. It's this way. So, guys, I. Glad you stopped by. And, um, you know, I really appreciate that. And it means a lot to me. Especially since, you know, you really don't have to, but you do. You know, leave a thumbs up. Leave a thumbs down. If you didn't like it, thumbs up if you did like it. Share with someone you think might like it. And as always, if you're new to my channel and subscribe, you know, welcome. Uh, and thank you because I know you didn't have to. But since you did, I consider you now part of me family. As always, guys, if you ever like to help me out in any way, shape, or form, better my channel in any way. From the kindness of your heart, of course, I have ways that you can in the description below on my channel, my Patreon and my PayPal. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, I am on Twitter as Ebon, and I'm also on Instagram as the respect under the moniker of Ebon as well. And on Facebook, I am planning to do a Facebook page only based on my channel called Vbot. Uh, obviously, due to 
you know, due to the fact that my personal Facebook, I don't want to share to you. have people trolling and being ignorant and disrespectful. So guys, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for stopping by. This is Hebot, your host, signing off. See you in the next one, guys. It's been good. It's been fun. Bye-bye.